Hi everyone and welcome again to my kitchen. This is Mage Engage and I'm glad you've joined me. Uh, and I'm also glad that I have James here with me. Hi, how are you? I'm good. It's an honor to be here. Thanks. I like to uh, get to know people and that's my aim of this podcast is to get to know people in the Magenta community. And I thought it was about time I got another British person on to help me out. <laughs> um, so firstly, can you give us a little introduction to yourself? Uh, what you do, who you work for, that kind of thing. Yeah, of course. So I work for Session Digital in the Manchester office, a uh, software engineer. I've always just dealt with the online web since about 10 yeah. years ago. Um, and now found more recently over the past three, four years to be in the Magento world, which is good. Um, and then in the spare time, we've got a small family. And we always go and watch the uh, mighty Wigan. And oddly enough, it is the Mighty Wigan that I want to talk about today, or more specifically, uh, how football interacts with your life. Um, and yeah, so you've already said it already, but you support Wigan. Um, for those of us who don't know anything about it, can you give us a quick introduction to Wigan? Yeah, so Wigan's a strange place. We've got it's a rugby town by heart, so the Wigan rugby team, who shares the same ground as the football team, are quite big, um, whereas the football team's always play second fiddle, so we're not like Manchester United or a city, we're, we're the small team called Wigan, who over the past 20 years managed to make the way from the lower tiers all the way into the Premier League, which is the main league. They stayed there for seven years won the FA Cup, and then have since been relegated twice. Great. Yes. So you are now heading back down, or do you reckon that you will you will be back in the Premiership? I think we'll be back. I hope so, anyway. I hope so. As a supporter, you always have to hope that your club will go up, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay. The foundation. Mm. The way the club's structured is... No reason why they, it's not like they're throwing away. They've not got any training grounds, or they've invested heavily mm. in all this. So we'll be back. Cool. Oh, that's good to hear. Uh, and what? Is, so, is it a family thing for you, football? Yeah, definitely. So, mm-hmm. when I was a little guy, um, I always went to to watch Blackburn play where where I was from. Mm-hmm. It was always shared between me, my brother, and my cousin. One of us always went to watch either with the granddad or, or my grandma. And then when I got married and, and little, little guys and girl came along, the girls, it was like, what can we do? And Wigan's five minutes from where I live. So we got the season tickets and it's just a little family trip down now. So it's always me, one guy and one girl. And my dad comes along as well and we make a, make a bit of a day out of it which is good and it's the same sometimes when we go to the away games as well my brother comes along when he can make the time yeah yeah, it's good something for us all to do and get emotional about and wear the t-shirts and spend a bit of time together on a Saturday which is really nice yeah that's really good it's good to hear that it's uh, a family tradition and that you're keeping it going I like that Um, so you say you've got season tickets um, so that means you go to as many home games as you can? Yeah. Okay. And uh, but and you go to a few away games as well? Yeah. So it's been a weird one this season with the home games because it seems I've missed... We've won three home games this season and all three of them I've not been in England for. So okay. I've actually paid £200 for a season ticket and not seen Wigan win. That's, yeah, okay, yeah. that's bad. <laughs> yeah, so uh, like the away games are pretty good fun as well. It's a different atmosphere when you go to like the Blackpool away and um, we've been to Bolton away, the local derby. Mm-hmm. It's good. And then when we were in the Premier League, we went obviously to Wembley the two times when we were in the semi-finals and the final in the FA Cup. Nice. We've been to Newcastle City toured England over the, the past five, six seasons, which is good fun. That's cool. Trying the pies, seeing any, if any of them live up to the Wigan pie. Yeah, there's one, oh, what's the club that apparently has the best pie? It's like, oh, is it Accrington or someone weird like that? Could be, oh. yeah. I think there's someone that has like a pie that's 
it's as expensive as the food in the Premiership, but because it's good, not because the club's good. I think it's somewhere like Accrington. I can't remember. Ew. Okay. So you must have uh, spent a bit of money supporting your club. Uh, what do you feel um, is the price of football at the moment? Do you feel that it's too high? Um, especially with a lot of the Premiership clubs, it can get quite expensive. Oh, definitely, yeah. So, I mean, some of the good things about Wigan is that before the game, we have like a family club where you can take the kids to and see the mascots and play all the games. Oh, nice. Do, um, like a few other things. But whereas in the Premier League, where you're paying £50, £60 pound for a ticket, mm. it's just, yeah, that's that's a bit ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But for, for you, for Wigan, it's it's... It's a reasonable amount, you reckon, than what you're paying um, for the value that you get from it. Oh, definitely. For an afternoon with the kiddies and just to be out of uh, the missus' hair for a few hours, it's priceless. <laughs> okay, cool. And is there uh, one person playing for Wigan, either now or in the past, that's been your, your club legend that you, you love to see play? Yes, definitely. For, for me, it's Boise that plays. He's okay. the one player that... Every time we've been to like the pre-match game, so even when the game actually starts, he comes over, waves. He actually feels like a down-to-earth player and pretty <laughs> good. But it's been like so many of them. When we had Roberto Martinez as our manager, he was again a really great guy. So Reese, well, that guy won um, a trip around the training ground. Oh wow! So made all the players come over and actually like talk to Reese, even though they were training. He was mm. like, yeah, come over here and take 10 minutes out. And, and he sat oh. down and spent time with them. It's the same for uh, Boise, who does that a lot. And he mm. goes to the hospitals. Um, you always see him in the paper or somewhere around Wigan, taking time out of the training regime to go and meet people and mm. make sure everyone's okay, which for a small club and a small town is really important. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it's good. It sounds like it's really like... A, a good family environment to go to. Um, Definitely. Yeah. Well, that's cool. And it's great to hear that they do stuff in the community as well. It's not just people getting paid a lot of money for for, for playing, you know, that they're giving stuff back as well. Yeah, definitely. It's, that's good. Cool. All right. Um, well, that's about it, I reckon. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, uh, for uh, talking to us a bit about your beloved Wigan. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, yeah, and uh, it, thank you for being interesting today. It's really been fun to hear to hear how you, you go with your family and enjoy time with them. It's great. Um, so as a reward, um, if you have anything you'd like to plug um, now, then feel free. No, not really. <laughs> it's a uh, work okay. session. We, we rock. <laughs> <laughs> are you looking for people now at the moment i think they always are okay okay so if you're in the uk and or you want to move to the uk talk to session digital yeah <laughs> okay oh cool your time well, is good fun it's great yeah Get up. I, I look forward to seeing more of these it's been really great to, to see what you've been doing and the mage talk guys it's, it's brilliant nice cool well thank you very much for joining me and thank you for watching and tune in next week for another episode. Bye. Bye.